Super Bowl tradition with a new twist. Just before kickoff tomorrow and right after the national anthem, fans at State Farm Stadium in Arizona will be treated to a very special Navy flyover. Four jets flown by seven women will join a list of Super Bowl firsts while commemorating 50 years since women were allowed to be Navy pilots. But before they make their televised flyby, these pilots got another test, flying with our own Chris Van Cleave, who joins us from State Farm Stadium, lucky guy, with a <laughs> behind-the-scenes look. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Arguably, their biggest test was putting up with me in the back seat there. But these are highly trained, highly skilled pilots that have been you know, honing these aviation skills for years. They've flown combat missions. This will probably be their highest profile mission ever. They even put up with the occasional civilian in the back seat. But they're also furthering a legacy of women on the flight deck. Taking off from Luke Air Force Base, Lieutenant Peggy Dente is getting ready for what will be the highest profile mission of her Navy career, buzzing State Farm Stadium right after the national anthem. Have you done a flyover before? I have not. No, it's my first one. Small stage for a first flyover. Yeah, no pressure. Nervous? You know, I think it'd be crazy if you weren't a little bit nervous, but a little bit of nerves keeps you honest, keeps you humble, keeps you focused on the mission. Sunday's four fighter flyover will have an all woman team of seven as the Navy celebrates 50 years of female pilots. It wasn't until 1973 when eight women were first allowed to enter flight school. Six earned their wings. About a year after graduating, Rosemary Mariner became the first woman assigned to pilot a Navy fighter. Women now make up about 15% of naval aviators. It is not lost on me how special it is that. I get to do what I'm doing today because they did it first. The significance of this Super Bowl first wasn't lost on some of the NFL's greats. Several Hall of Famers visited the pilots and their support crews Thursday to thank them for their service. It's definitely a huge honor to be asked to do this and to celebrate those women that have paved this way for all of us. Lieutenants Ariel Ash and Suri Moreno will be leading the diamond formation. I don't think we have any question about the execution of it. I think it's going to go just to plan. Because you have to be there at down to the second. That's correct. We're used to the mission, maybe not so much used to the publicity. The pilots have had a couple weeks to prepare, including this Friday practice flight. But first, Lieutenant Dente is showing us what her EA-18 Growler can do. Are you for that? I can't believe it. Which meant pulling a 6G turn. That's six times the force of gravity pressing down upon us. And apparently, it's not a true flight if you don't go upside down. How did I do? You did really well, Chris. I didn't throw up. I didn't pass out. No, neither of those things. I think you did great. Dente fell in love with aviation as a kid, learning to fly with her dad. The inspiration to join the Navy came from her grandfather, who flew helicopters in Vietnam. Now she and the rest of these pilots get a chance to inspire a new generation of aviators. I think it's a message not just to young girls, but to young people um, that they can do whatever they set their mind to. And if they want to be a jet pilot, that is well within possibility for them. And obviously, these flyovers don't just happen. There's been a ton of coordination with the FAA, the NFL, the TV production to make sure this all happens right at the right moment. They're confident they will execute this mission. I have to tell you guys one thing that I was struck by. Peggy and her electronic warfare officer, the person who sits in the back seat where I was sitting, they've known each other since college. And I have to say they are fellow USC Trojan alum. So fight on. <laughs> we heard about that. I was trying to figure out, Chris, how you were going to get that in there because I saw you tweet that earlier in the week. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm and obligated. He was obligated to do it. Fight on. He followed the keys. Don't throw up. Don't pass yeah. out. So yeah. Nice job. As you well know. There you go. <laughs> Dana, have you yeah. read up there yet? All three of us. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the club. Getting those G's in. Great story. And it's always fun to watch those. <laughs>